Alrighty. Uh, so, I actually did the unboxing of this pedal just a few minutes ago. Uh, and um, I'm right now just kind of, just actually got it out of the box and hooked it up. So I haven't had any time to play with this pedal at all. But I'm going to do a real quick demo of the Throwback Stonebender Mark II Pro. Which is uh, supposed to be, I believe, a clone of the um, Tonebender fuzzes from Solo Sound and Vox, um, and specifically the Mark II version. I guess there are at least three different ones, um, and I've been steered toward the Mark II in the search for the ultimate fuzz. This pedal has a couple of interesting features on it. It's got an internal bias control, and it's got an internal uh, pre-gain trim pot. Um, neither of which I'm going to mess with in this demo. The instructions suggest to leave them alone, and so I'm going to follow that. But there are two interesting features on here. There's first off the pre-gain switch, which has a lower and a higher gain setting. I believe the lower gain um, is for humbuckers on the left, and the higher gain for the uh, for single coils on the right. I'm going to demo this pedal both with a Tele and with a Les Paul, um, because I've found in the past that uh, fuzz pedals seem to work real well with single coil pickups, but um, just sound all spitty and fizzy and harsh when you put humbuckers into them. Um, and I primarily play humbucker equipped guitars, so it's important to me that it works for both, or at least for humbuckers alone. Um, but I'm going to start out with um, with the uh, the Telecaster, which has DeMarzo Twang Kang pickups in it. Ordinarily, I would play it into my Sound City Concord. Uh, because it's a real high headroom, clean British amp, uh, and I think it would be a good match with a, a tone bender fuzz. But it's got a spitty sounding fizz going on on its own today that I think is going to color the the perception of the sound. So I'm switching instead to my um, Crate uh, V16 Palomino, which I'm using kind of like a non-master volume amp. I'm using it with the level all the way up and the gain all the way down and using the gain as a volume knob. So as a result it's a pretty high headroom. <laughs> um, it's a pretty high headroom amp and takes to pedals pretty well. I've used it this way before. Um, this is usually the amp that I take with me to jams and things where I want to be able to go in with, with one amp and one guitar. Um, so, I'll get right to it. Uh, I've got the Telecaster plugged in right now, and this is the clean sound of the amp. There's the middle pickup position and the neck. So now I'll go ahead and switch it on. I'm going to start out with the um, gain in the lower position, and I'm going to leave the level and tack about halfway up, so you should be able to hear the difference right away. Position, it's um, really kind of sounds almost more like an overdrive, although a pretty bright overdrive. And I guess you could take a little bit off here with the color knob or the color uh, switch. I'm going to turn up the level a little bit to try to match the. Uh, that's pretty good. Got a pretty unity game between the clean and dirty. Alright, now I will ch check out the gain levels on here um, from all the way down. I'll go up midway.
turn that color switch. You can see that does make it quite a bit uh, kind of beefier sounding. And now I will also I'll bring it back down to about all the way down, and I'll switch the gain into the second position. And you see already it's got a bunch more gain even all the way down. Halfway up. with the color still. And here's the color back to its original position. Okay, so I'll turn the fuzz all the way up. Take it back down about here. This seems to be a pretty usable. Uh, it really almost to me sounds less like a what I would call a traditional fuzz. Uh, even though I know there's three germanium transistors in there, it really sounds to me like a very classic kind of distortion pedal. <laughs> single coils. Um, I'll try uh, a little bit here on the neck of it, pick up two. And here's some of the middle position. Alright, I'm going to stop this one there, and I'm going to come back and do a second one with uh, humbuckers using uh, Les Paul Custom. So, uh, that's it for now.